Hello everyone. In this video, let us try to perform CRUD operations using DB context with new APIs. So let us see that how to do. Say for example, I want to insert a record into department table. So I need to create the object of department entity. That is nothing but the entities that it has created here. That is department entity. So I need to initialize the object of this department entity. So I'll say department D equals to new department. Say D dot department ID is auto generated. Now I'll say department name. So that's it. Now my object is ready. Now I need to add this object to the list of departments using DB context object. That is nothing but I'll say OE dot departments. So this list is available in context class. You can see department. Its written type is DB set, which is going to handle all the operations like add, remove. Now I'll just say F12 in this deep to this DB set to see the class. So DB set is the class which contains add method and remove method. So these are the methods that we are going to use. Add method to insert, remove method to delete the record. So departments dot add. That's a departments dot add D. Finally, I'll say OE dot save changes. Save all. Say console dot read line. Now I'll just try to put a breakpoint here. Say five. We have an Intelli track window that we'll just try to observe what are the things going on. This Intelli track window is visible only in debug mode. So whenever we put a breakpoint, you can go for debug, windows, Intelli track. You can get Intelli track event window from here. So now I'll say F10. F10. So here I have prepared the object D that is department, department name, gender and HOD. Now I'll say F10. Once I say OE dot save changes here it is going to perform an insert operation with insert query. So here I got an insert query. It says that insert into department and the values department name hod and gender as it has an identity column it is it will automatically track department id with scope identity function and map it to the department id so that later on i can use that for my future references i'll say five Five. So I have performed an insert operation successfully. Let us try to check here. So here I get the department e-learning. That's really good. So this is the insert operation. Now let me try to perform read operation. So I'll try to read all the records from the department. So I'll take a variable where departments equals to OE dot departments. So this is a deferred mode of query execution. If I say dot to list, this is immediate mode of query execution. And these are the differences that we have already learned in our basic tutorial. Now, once I get all the departments, I'll just write a for each loop to iterate through all the departments. 
item in departments and here I'm going to display department ID then department name that's it I'll say item dot DID and item dot dname so it is going to perform a select operation and let me comment out this insert part so that it should not insert the department once again I'll say F5 you can see that it has listed all the departments development testing admin production and e-learning so this is some simple select now if I want to select the departments whose HOD's gender is male so how do I write that I'll say where male equals to OE dot departments dot I'll write a lambda expression where X gives rise to X dot gender is equals to male dot to list now we know very well there are two ways of working with your entity data model one is writing link query expression and then another is writing link lambda expression so this is your link lambda expression and I have a set of queries that I'm going to share with you which contains almost 36 to 40 queries SQL server queries and their equivalent lambda expressions and query expressions so I'm gonna share with you now let me copy the same for each loop and I'll change departments to department mails and I'll say five now development testing admin production so and e-learning these are the departments and department with male HODs are development testing and production so you can see that so this is your select operation now let me comment it out I'll right click and I'll say surround with hash region and I'll name it as read now we will go for update operation now if I want to update a record I need to search that record first so I'll say where the EPT I'm trying to look for a particular record a department equals to OE dot departments dot where x gives rise to x dot department id is equals to so i'm trying to look for a particular department say i'm trying to look for the department 1003 and i want to change the name from development to dev dev that's it so department 1003 dot first or default now I'll say DEPT dot DNAME is equals to def that's it if I say OE dot safe changes this should be enough to update the record